Hey, so what's up guys? Uh, so I don't really play Bubba too often, but on stream I gave him a shot because I play every killer really, but I obviously have my favorites that I tend to stick with along my builds that I prefer. Uh, however, I gave Bubba a try, which it was like my second, maybe third time trying him since he got changed, so there was a few mistakes for sure. But uh, overall, I, <laughs> there were quite a bit of funny moments, and I don't know, it was just a really fun match and uh, really fun players. Uh, so I hope you enjoy the video and, uh, you know, like, if you want it, uh, subscribe if you want to and comment if you want to. And if you don't, well then I guess you're just a, my build. Oh, my build is disgusting. Oh God. This is what I do with my cannibal. Oh, jeez. I'm okay. Um, well, we have to get barbecue. Corrupted dimension. Not too bad. Um, instead of Noed. Whispers. Now the reason I'm going Whispers is so that towards the end, instead of no using Noed, um... I'll give them a better chances to, let's say, if there's like two people, to figure out what gate they want to do by checking with Whispers. That's the only time I think Whispers is good. Otherwise, it's kind of like spine chill for me, where I just am constantly looking over my shoulder. Okay, so we are going to change this around. Let's see really quick. Uh, slightly increases charge time. No. Uh, Downing Survivor, well known other your terror radius, will hide the survivor's aura for 20 seconds. That doesn't sound that bad. Uh, chainsaw hits cause survivors to drop their items. That's not bad. Moderately increases chainsaw movement speed. Slightly increases charge time. Time of reading available for triggering a tantrum. God damn it. Increases dash duration when token is consistent. Increases the additional. Okay, that's good. Um... Okay, our build is, is literally just beyond generic. Um, infectious Fright, I would change out. Um, I'm not sure what perks I have on him. Uh, maybe Infectious Fright would be stronger with Noed, actually. Maybe, maybe that's what I should have done. Maybe I should have kept the Noed, but either way, uh, I've only played Billy or Bubba, whatever. Um, Two times? Maybe three times since his rework. I'm not I'm not exactly sure. It hasn't been that many times. So hopefully hopefully we can do a uh, a decent performance. We went from Brutal Killer with Plague. We went to Ruthless with Nurse. And now we've got Bubba. Yeah. <laughs> I mean the Bubba I apparently Bubba is now considered uh, where Hillbilly used to be, and Hillbilly's way down where Bubba used to be. So maybe I can, uh, maybe I can do something. We'll see. We'll see. It'll take a little bit getting used to with the charge tokens. But, it could be a lot of fun. Midwich Elementary School, again. Okay, we're not nurse, so here's... A dif the difference on this map, and it's uh, with uh, obviously nurse and uh, killer alike, is that um, breakable walls. <laughs> uh, this one's actually my favorite breakable wall, just because I think this is this is really really cool. When I found this, I thought it was awesome. You've got this little side path going on. Isn't that a lot? It's just so freaking cool. Will I go in it again? No, probably not. But I still like to break it and look. Okay, so Whispers is going off here. Which means that they probably started... Ah, uh, one sec. Shut down here. Okay, that's basements over there. Ah. Uh. The problem is with uh, Corrupted Dimension is it can kind of be a wasted perk um, because they could be hanging around the gens in which are not Corrupt Intervented Intervention um, but they also could 
just be waiting it out because it's not too too long all right here are you okay so these gens i don't believe are being worked on we're gonna go upstairs again we're gonna just take a quick peek we want to catch somebody in the hallway looking around for a gen uh if you're playing tracker trapper but uh, yeah i'm not gonna give a trapper advice here Dude, this sucks. I hate when I can't find somebody. Corrupt Intervention has now become a wasted perk. I mean, it, it put some delay on the game, but it, it didn't help me find someone. Okay. Well. We kind of need to just keep going around, yeah? Break a lot of the loops when we're getting near them. Okay. I forgot how to use the tokens. <laughs> I'm gonna wait for three tokens and then I'm gonna do it. I messed up. Thank you for stunning me. You just saved me. You could have just ran away. I would have been stuck there. Jen's already done, of course. Are you kidding me? That was so hard to get around. I'm gonna wait. Okay. We lost a, this took way too long for a generator. There was no infectious fright over here. Uh, we broke a lot of pallets, but the thing is with this game is uh, this map, you're not gonna probably need to run into pallets. Like you just drop them whenever they run into them. Honestly, it's not gonna do much. Like, it won't change much. And we don't have pop because I don't think that we unlocked pop on Bubba yet. So, unfortunately, like, we're just... We just have to be really aggressive. This is going to be a sprint burst, probably. Nope. Okay. See? She's gone. Um, Because they're working on the gen upstairs, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop down immediately. And I'm going to try to find a, a, um, a hook as a, a you know... That makes it so it takes them some time to get back up there to that generator. Assuming they don't just finish the generator. Because now there's a lot of pressure. And they hopefully don't want to do that generator right the second. Um, oh wait, 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 wait. I said I wasn't going to be able to use it, but I actually can. Look at this. We're going through the cool tunnel. We, we are cool guy Dwight. Alright. This gen's almost done. Uh, kicking is probably not going to do much, but... At the same time, you know, maybe it will. Okay, we're going to drop down here because I feel like he's about to get rescued. Three, two, one. Okay, there it is. Dang. I ran out. One, two. Wait. If I had just pressed... I just can M1 her now. I wasn't expecting that. What, she's looking behind her, dead hard? Never mind. She's just afraid. Uh, she watched... Um, she watched the uh, Chainsaw Massacre, and she was right there like, dang, I am the Massacre, and he is the Chainsaw. And uh, from that moment on, it was just downhill. It was just downhill. She was afraid. We have one person out of the game just from fear. Okay, uh, Yui. She just fully runs because she knows I try to break pallets immediately. So that's uh, convenient. Oh, you didn't use my path. 
I should have charged that up. I forgot there was a paladin here. Okay, so this isn't actually that great for her. And by that, I mean it's awful. Now, does she have DS still? No. Okay, awesome. So, we have one gen done. And we've got a few hooks under our belt. Which they need to add it so that we can see our hook counter. I think it's really stupid that the survivors are able to see each person's how many times they've been hooked. But the killer can't because the killer could just not tunnel. If, uh, if I saw the hook counter on some people, I probably wouldn't tunnel. Well, maybe I would. I guess it's a 50-50, right? Okay. There is the person that we haven't seen all game. We've got the, uh, we've got the gen jockey on our hands. That's sure. If you want to use the God Pal this early for for this chase, that I, whatever. Who am I to tell you how to live your life? Kate, can you come back here? Look at them short. Ooh. Oh no, those aren't even her shorts. Those are the little like flappy flaps. And your booty go boop boop boop. Dang, she outplayed me. All right, I gotta leave. Well done. Well done. Well done. Really good read. Just kidding. I'm coming back. Where the heck did you go? Okay, I'm, I'm just kidding again. I, I did. I know where you went. I just want to let you go there. I, I wasn't confused there. That was just that was just me joking, actually. Oh, this is still regressing. If, <laughs> if I had popped, that would have been fully regressed by now. God bless, man. I'm in a dead zone. I don't know why I came over here. I think I actually just, like... That's why I came over here. That's right. I I forgot all about that part. The part where I'm supposed to drop down on the Meg. It was in the script. I gave them, even. Damn it. How do I forget stuff like this all the time? All right, let's see where we got people. Uh, everybody's in lockers or close by. We have scratch marks right here. We still have them right there though. She can't get into that through there. We're gonna chase her away from that loop. There we go. Three tokens came in handy there. I had to go into tantrum mode because it was about to wear off anyways. So that was the only chance. She probably on her screen right now is livid. I would be livid right now. But the thing is, all game she's been playing incredibly safe and immediately dropping pallets. And so the once she, apparently she should have been. She should have kept doing that. Because otherwise otherwise you get you get the chainsaw. All right. We're going to listen again. We need to be quiet so that we can hear generators or breathing. Oh, that was this stuff. I thought I heard somebody uh, like do a grumble or something. I was like, what the f who the hell makes that noise? Uh, we're going to break this. This actually being next to... Oh, that means that's not even next to a fucking general. I don't know what I'm talking about. Are they doing the one in the courtyard? No. Weird. Right now... They've lost a lot of momentum. They they know that they have to pop a gen to make it a to not do a three gen, and I'm kind of hovering over here because I, I mean I can make I can make a path over there, but then I lose a pretty efficient run. And that, yeah, they're not even on it, so all that did was waste my time. 
Unless these Hollywood actors remember the other part of the script. Let's get a little bit closer to the gens in case maybe I'm just not hearing them. Okay. We, we finally found one. That someone's working on. Hmm, now this is interesting. Not in the lockers, huh? She didn't run away. Nope. Okay, that's really good. Okay, the other guy's gonna keep running. We're going back to the person that's doing this gen over here because we got Infectious Fright. Holy crap, Infectious Fright actually did something. There we go. It's the Yui. It's perfect. Now they have to go downstairs to pick up the other one. That's why I'm not really too worried about this right now. I'm watching the pickup. If they end up doing adrenaline, uh, that's fine. Okay, so we've got her away from these gens. We need to hurry up and get back there. I don't know if we'll have enough time because no pop, no real gen regression, no gen control, and both of these gens now are at their mercy. Like, this is probably, like, what, 90%? And that one was pretty far because they were two people on it because I went to the far gen. It, that's why you, you literally have to set up three gens most of these games. Otherwise, you just don't get a game. What's up? Okay. Yelling there. And that's the only yell we got. Um, I think we're safe to bring him slightly further away. Not too far, but just like away from the gens a little bit. Not towards the gens here. Um... Okay, so they tapped this gen. I would always go back here because this is stupid. They always have like these two double god pallets. I'm not going to bother with that gen though. I'm going to try... Like, most likely I lose a gen right now. Like, that's the most likely scenario. Like, they could go for a save. But it's a 50-50 on these where I show up. And if they're on it or not. So this one is also, this one's probably like 97%, 95% done. Maybe even like 99. Okay, we're going to take the hit. Regular uh, punch. And we're just going to, let's just bloodlust. There's literally no reason for us not to. She panicked there. So right there, she got stuck. I immediately, when, when somebody gets stuck, I backpedal. If they're near a pallet like she could have kept running and she would have been fine but the thing is when you do that and you're a survivor you're in your mind you will uh, immediately look for some sort of like uh what would it be like uh quick way to get away is it uh, hmm, quick escape it's like you don't f fucking piece of sh okay so as a killer you just gotta let them get sometimes wiggle off you just gotta let them wiggle off Dang, okay, this this actually really sucks because I didn't see another hook closer. So they're gonna get uh, another gen here, which really, really sucks. But if we can get up there, um, we can trade. It's not worth going after her at this point. There we go. We have the Yui. Pick her up from this way, because if I face the uh, window, it'll make me bolt. If you are a survivor and you are down next to a window, you should try to crawl towards the window unless you have somebody that's going to save you. Um, that way, maybe the killer will make a, will forget and make a mistake, you know? But for the most part, uh, that's kind of how you should probably play Bubba and I don't play Bubba I do have a couple perks I don't know what they 
Oh, one of them makes him drop an item, right? Um, I don't know what the other one does, though, honestly. Like, like, yeah, 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 go. Um. Okay. Two people escape. Brutal killer. How? What did I do wrong? Why did I, why am I only brutal killer here? Two deaths, multiple hooks on everyone just about. And these people pipped. The emblem system is whack in this game. The most points I could have gotten wasn't even, uh, it was less than 5k points I even could have gotten. If you play well, you get punished. You're supposed to play so that all survivors have fun and they all escape and then can teabag at the exit and flashlight you. Uh, they didn't say anything. Uh, no, that's fine. I got to play on that map with them. It was pretty fun. I got some chainsaws. There's a lot of, there's a lot of mistakes. It cost, honestly, it was a 3k in the bag if I were to, uh, not have dropped the cape, but I didn't see a hook. I might have spawned, there might have been one literally where I picked her up orig originally and I just didn't see it. But that, uh, that play alone is kind of what made me lose this match completely. Because if I hooked them with three people, that means one person would have to go to save and then I just have a two gen to worry about finding the other one. One of them would have been dead on hook if I find either of them. Yeah. I mean, right there is when I lost the 4k and 3k. From uh, the Kate Grid. But it is what it is. Next game is a new game. And also, we don't really care about PIP games. We care about fun. But if it's not fun, why, why, would we be, why would we be playing, right? It's a video game. Okay? I don't have... I don't think that stabbing my balls is a game. So, like... Why would I do that in a game? other people or myself. I don't know. <laughs>